Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll be working with our new style switcher widget for our new portal skin. Let's get started. What I have here is a default installation of .NET Nuke 7 and I have the portal skin installed and I've created a demo portal using the portal template. If you'd like to do the same, refer to our installation and activation video. Okay, so as you notice, if I'm not logged in, I do not see a style switcher which appears on the left right here. It only appears for host or super users. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a host or super user. And once I'm logged in as a host or super user, I see the style switcher. Now on our demo side, you may see this appearing at all pages and that's just for demo purposes. When you actually have the skin installed, it will only appear for host users. Okay, so using the style switcher I have the ability to very quickly change the colors on my site. I just chose this color and as you can see all the elements here change the colors so it's very quickly to change a color to match your color theme. I have the option to go ahead and choose any custom color I'm not limited to to the colors I have uh, predefined here. So I'm going to switch back to blue I just like that color better and as you can see there's a gradient effect right here if I uncheck that, it's going to become a flat blue instead of gradient blue. And I'll go ahead and bring that back in. So that's right here. We have five different header options. So I click on header number two. What we have is a different header. The social icons are up here. They moved up here. And we have this gray uh, background appearing. Now let me change a color here to a different color. I have changed this to a dark orange color for demo purposes. Uh, you see the gray background is still there so let me switch over to header 3. In this one uh, the background actually takes the color of your chosen color so that's header 3. Okay so same thing I can go to uh, header 4 and in header 4 I see that search bar is not there so if you don't need the search you can use header 4 option. And then I have a header 5 option where the logo is now centered and the menu appears underneath so there's a bunch of different uh, header options I'll go back to the first one and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color back to blue um, we can also change the layout style from a full width to a boxed version and here's a boxed version of our skin now once we're in the box version we have the options to use uh, background images uh, or, or a background pattern and we have several pattern here that we can choose from like that. Now whenever you like changes, for example let's say I want a box skin and I have want a header 5 which is the center header and I want a green color. If I like the skin and I am happy with it, uh, let's say I don't want the social icons, I can get rid of those so they're no longer there. And now I like my skin, I can just go ahead and click save. At this time your existing skin which is home skin is going to get resaved with your changes and now this is your new skin so if I go ahead and click on the uh, home page logo I see my new changes are now permanent and I've applied those changes which is great now let's say I wanted to have a customized skin but I wanted to have one different one for each portal or maybe for even different pages so the style switcher lets you do that it has the ability for you to create new skins just click on new and let's say I have a portal that is dedicated to racing cars so I can just say racing cars is my new skin name I'm going to go ahead and hit create it's also going to give me an option do you want to apply this skin to current portal or uh, at this time or you want to apply it to different portal later so I can go ahead and say apply and now I have the racing cars skin applied to my portal I can verify that from here it created two skins for me racing cars home skin and racing cars inner or I can go actually check that through my admin and skins if I go to admin and skins I see now Porto has two more skins racing cars home and racing cars inner now if I go to my admin and site settings I can also verify that the style switcher actually did apply those to my portal. As you can see I have a racing cars inner applied to the site skin and uh, as an edit skin as well. So let's go back 
and now what I can do is now I have this new racing cars home I can make my changes I can go to a different uh, header layout uh, and see I have a different header layout right here I can go make this a box layout and I can hit save hit yes for making my changes saved and now what I have is two different skins I have the regular skin which fed them to home these were the green changes I had done earlier and now I created a different purple looking skin which is called my racing cars which is a different layout and different color schemes any point anytime you want to start with a fresh new default skin you can go ahead and create a new skin um, for example let's say uh, another portal this this portal is for let's say um, bicycles so uh, I'll, I'll go ahead uh, and create a new skin and this one is a skin that has default settings applied now anytime you're making changes and you want to go back to default your uh, settings since you last saved you can go ahead and hit reset and that will bring it back to your default settings as well so uh, style switchers not only allows you to go ahead and uh, make changes to your skin it allows you to create new skins based on your modification as well similarly if you want to go ahead and edit an existing skin you can simply choose that let's say the racing cars home I no longer want it to be purple I would like this to be a uh, a uh, princess peachy color for example and I want this to be a white skin now and using the header one I can do that and just hit save and that's it now another thing I've been working on the home page if I jump over to let's say a inner page you will see that it automatically picks up that I have the inner page skin applied right here I have bicycles in there applied right now to my portal and uh, if I want to edit this one I can go ahead and make this a different color too and I can hit save that as well so there we go that's a short little demo for our styles which, are not, which not only lets you customize your current skin but create new skins as well now you can take these skins and apply to different portals with any .NET new installation or even different pages that's it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please do let us know. Thank you so much for watching the video.